This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Bill Loveless, pastor of St. Brendan's Church in Youngstown. I'm Joe Mersall from St. Jude Parish in Columbiana. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers and the Toro. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, you we bless you, we, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. You take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Receive, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. us. For you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohalek. Vanity of vanities? All things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill, and yet to another who has not labored over it. He must leave property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune. For what profit comes to man from all the toil and anxiety of, our, of heart with which he has labored under the sun. All his day sorrow and grief is his occupation. Even at night his mind is not at rest. This also is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Response today is, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today, if today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, voice, harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or the watch of the night. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, voice, harden not, harden your, not hearts. your hearts. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. If today, if today you, hear you hear his voice, voice harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his voice, voice harden, harden not your hearts. hearts. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. 
if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. Then I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for all who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever been in a circumstance where your life might have been threatened? I remember one incident like that. It happened a number of years ago when I had taken an exit. A couple lanes of traffic were merging, and a semi-trailer hit the left rear of my car. I tried to get out of the way, but as the truck continued to push the left bumper, my car wheeled around until it was sideways, against the front grill of the truck. Thank God, the truck was moving very slowly. Nonetheless, it was starting to push my car over, and then it stopped. And what was I doing through it all? I remembered I called out the name of Jesus three times. It was a genuine prayer, though brief. Nothing else mattered to me in that moment. In the reading today from Ecclesiastes, the thinker Koheleth could not have had such an accident some more than 2,000 years ago, but I can't help but wonder if he experienced some threat to his life that led him to question all of his values and priorities. For he said, Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. As I understand the word used by Koheleth, the word we translate vanity indicates something like a dandelion puffball. You blow on it, 
and it all blows away. So vanity of vanities, there's nothing to it. Vanity of vanities, there isn't even a trace. Have you ever looked at incidents in your life that way? If not, maybe sometime you should. For what was so important about watching that program you wanted to see? And why do you find your neighbor's habits so irritating? And why did you let your sister's hearing problem rile you? Maybe some of the things that you let bother you are only vanity of vanities. Jesus said as much in the Gospel of Luke today. There was a person who tried to get him in the middle of his dispute with his brother. He said, teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. But Jesus refused to jump in. Was it because he didn't care about the justice of the issue? Well, of course not. Jesus was always concerned about those who came out on the short end of the stick. But what Jesus was really concerned about in this case was that the complainer was caught up in some passing things of this world on vanities, when what he really needed to focus on was the eternity that Jesus was opening up for him. What does that mean for us? Well, I think it means that we need to think about and pray over the words of the serenity prayer. Perhaps you know it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom to know the difference. I think that puts everything in perspective. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son he is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. With generous hearts, let us lift up our voices, praying for all in need. For the safety of Christians everywhere from persecution and violence, especially in Syria, Iraq, Iran, Korea, and the Central African Republic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who must work endless hours just to feed their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the wisdom to see a way to end gun violence in our land, and we have the will to do it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who must risk everything they have for the loved ones, for refugees, immigrants, and migrant workers, that they may know God's mercy through us during this jubilee year of mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. O God of love, you are the giver of every good gift. Listen to our humble prayers and keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, our only hope. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, his name for, for our, our good and the good of all his, his holy church. Graciously sanctify these offerings, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man and woman in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, power, and the the glory glory are yours, yours, now now and and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body 
of Christ. St. Teresa of Avila wrote these words, Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down to receive the blessing. Lord, look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death, and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God.